Did you know there is a basting stitch on the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition? So in your main menu, what you want to do is scroll all the way down to stitch number 30. Now before I touch it, I want to point out what a normal tension on a straight stitch is. It is 5.25. When you pick the basting stitch, notice quickly that it changes to a much lower setting. So I'm going to show you why that is so important. Now, if you do forget which stitch is actually your basting stitch, remember you can scroll down and when you think you found it, touch the question mark and then touch the stitch. This will give you both what the stitch is called, what it is, and how to use it. So right here, it reminds us uh, to lower the feed dog, place the fabric under the presser foot, hold the threads while you're starting to stitch, pull the work from behind to the required length of the stitch. So you get to actually pick and create how long the basting stitch is. And then you're gonna sew one stitch and then repeat. So I'm gonna show you what this is all about. And by the way, you can actually, okay, I'm gonna just leave my feed dogs up, so just so you know. But yes, you would uh, lower them over here on the side by pushing the feed dog box in all the way until it stays. But for just today, it will work. So here's how it's gonna work. It said hold the threads just so that first stitch can start. I'm stepping on my foot control and going ahead and stitching. Did you see that it stitched and then stopped? And my foot was actually still on the foot control. So lift up the foot, bring the fabric out towards the back and wherever you want the next stitch to, to stitch, touch, one stitch, then lift, touch one stitch. Now this would be a great place to actually put on your presser foot lifter because then you can have it stop and then um, just lift the foot up and then move it so you don't have to keep touching this button. So if I want to turn it. Now remember that tension I, I kind of pointed out uh, for you at the beginning? I'm going to show you why that is so cool and important and you don't have to remember it. Okay, so you would just continue around until you got all the stitches completed. So with the tension looser on the top, that means that the bobbin thread is tighter. So if we flip it over, we're going to be able to see that these stitches can so easily pu be pulled out just by pulling and you can see that they're almost like on a curtain rod. They're just pulling right on through and out. So it's really easy to remove it when it's done. Now those last couple, or the first couple stitches, it took, took a couple extra. So I'll need my seam ripper or a little scissors to kind of clip those away. But I love how quick and easy that the stitches are removed when using the built-in manual basting stitch in the Bernina 570.